Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tower. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and huge welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Absolutely fabulous to have you along with me. Uh, sorry if I'm hammering a few videos out today. Goodness knows what the next few days are going to bring. And I, uh, I don't like the videos to be too long because I like them you to be able to pick and choose. You do not have to feel obliged to watch all of them under any circumstances. Uh, pick and choose and they're literally length of a cup of coffee. So I'm going to have a look in, at Polyvere in this one. This is the opposition leader in Canada. Um, I just want to see how he's going to fare going forwards towards 2025, given what's happening at the moment. Uh, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments section below. I read all your comments. I reply where I can. I heart to say that I've seen your questions and I absolutely, absolutely love having you along for the journey. So let's have a look. I'm just, hopefully this will be a really, really quick reading, uh, entertainment only, looking at Polyver to going towards the 2025 Canadian election. He's the leader of the opposition. What do we need to know about Polyver? Okay. 2025. Okay, come on down, let's have a quick look. Okay, insecurity, secrets he doesn't want revealed. Oh, yeah, I'm just going to say secrets. I'm not going to say financial secrets, but just secrets that he's hanging on to about abuse of power. He's going to find uh, when once it's revealed, uh, he, he's going to lose. People are going to walk away. Oh boy, these are not good cards for Paul Fair. Now, I have no vested interest in either Polyvere or Trudeau, aside from the fact that I'd like to see Canada have a uh, accepting, moderate, progressive government. Um, if you if you're going to leave any nasty comments, just be warned that you'll just get deleted and blocked. Um, but yeah, these aren't good cards for Polyvere. He's going to find himself. There's something about the secrets that's going to come out, uh, about an abuse of power that he's going to find himself restricted in the past. My moral and ethical corruption card. So yeah, I'm going to default to the fact that there's going to be some financial corruption, entertainment only, that's going to come out in regards to him that he's going to find himself facing judgment. And it's going to be tooted from the rafters. He's going to find himself and externally a tower moment. So I don't know who's going to be uh, leader of the opposition, but I don't think it's going to be Polyver. Uh, he's going to externally have to reap what he sows. Internally, the Queen of Wands, which is uh, a judge or a prosecutor. No, I'm not going to say judge. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm getting that this is the, internally for him, he's going to have to face whomever this female legislator is that's going to replace Trudeau. And she is not mucking around. She's going to be a, a really good orator. She's bringing forward a new plan and she's not going to muck around hopes and fears about uh, uh, moving back towards a more balanced, more balanced, but... Yeah, for Polyver himself, the outcome, not good. Ten of Swords, perhaps connections to, to Russia, Saudi, and that sort of energy, and he's going to face the justice system. His actions are going to have consequences. This is about, uh, in, in the context of what I'm reading on, money changing hands, uh, loans and debts, money changing hands, I'm getting there. I'm getting uh, manipulation with the magician. There are secrets that are going to come forth that we do not know about yet. The vote is going to see them clearly and it's going to come, whatever he's done, it's going to come and bite him on the backside. There's going to be a lot of headlines in regards to this that he's not going to be able to control. There's going to be a full illumination of whatever this is that is bringing about a significant ending for him with the death card. We've got the investigation here, shining the light. 
He's going to be forced to walk away. Oh, if I keep going, um, we've got, uh, it's the Nine of Cups. This is be careful what you wish for, but the, the, it's not the, um, the one where it's poor choices, et cetera, but this is a sort of a deluded emotional wish. This is going to be his legacy, but he is going to face a significant truth due to himself tying himself to uh, this devil energy and lies, betrayal, deceit, being seen, the eyes are there, being seen, which is going to be too burdensome for him. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't think either either Polivare or Trudeau are going to be there as leaders of their respective parties um by twenty twenty five. See how it plays. Love to you all. Take care.